You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Week in Review. Yes, the week after Mania. Yes. Because, you know, we have to make a big stink about the Raw and SmackDown after yes. WrestleMania. Did you know that the Raw and SmackDown after Mania, the fans may boo and cheer people oh, they normally don't. Yeah. But I don't remember him, Corey saying that on Raw, but I know he yeah, said it yeah, on it SmackDown. Was, yeah. Because there was, was really sad. no reason to say it on Raw. Well, I mean... Or on SmackDown, really, but it was still funny. It's for Roman. Well, obviously they it's They do Roman. it for Roman. Um, All these things are for Roman. The world is for Roman. Yeah. <laughs> the world? Yes. Well, you know, if you ask Vince. I guess that's true. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So before... The show got underway. They had announced that they were going to be in a steel cage match, right? Yeah, they. Uh, I guess at like six o'clock, they posted on Facebook. Yes, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar at the Greatest Royal Rumble in, in steel- Saudi Arabia. Is yeah. that where it's at? Yeah, in yeah. a steel cage. Steel cage. So uh, apparently, their fan base is a very, very big Roman fans. Really? So yeah. Oh, I don't know. So I would expect the title to change then. Excuse me, sir. But I'm pretty sure that we said the same thing two days ago. <laughs> and guess what happened? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, But, is a good point, you know. Yeah. Chances are they wanted to prolong it a little bit. and Well, we don't know what Lesnar's new contract entails, right? No, it could have been for a month. Right. It could have been. Because what I had heard was rumors was that it was for one more showing, uh-huh. which that, yeah. or it was a multi-year deal. Which yeah, it could sounds, have been anything. Yeah, um, and they were very, they're very, uh, I guess, intent on being unclear about it. Right. Because it all they said was Lesnar signed a new deal. Yeah, that it was it. It wasn't anything. It wasn't specific at no, all. No, and I think Heyman signed a deal as well. So oh yeah, but we kind of figured sense. he was yeah. going to anyway. Right, because I'm sure he'll do something else. Because mm-hmm. did he follow him around the UFC? Or? No, 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 I didn't think so. But when Brock Lesnar was in the UFC, Paul Heyman was either behind the scenes or helping other people or with I gotcha. other people. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Yep. All right. So I guess let's talk about Raw. All right. So um, uh, the well. Sh- what? Before we get into it, it seems like they really didn't have a show written for Raw. They said, here, we have shiny new toys. Oh, yeah. You're going to be distracted by this and forget that we actually have a show to produce. Yeah, it was very, uh, obviously it wasn't very story-driven. Granted, technically, WrestleMania is when they hit the, the reset button most of the time, yeah. so it's well, not a big surprise. It, it seemed like Raw, more than SmackDown, kind of forgot like everything that happened at WrestleMania. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nothing seemed to have carried over. No, besides the Ronda and Stephanie stuff, but that was just, like, to end it. Yeah, and, like, the tag team championships, right. but that was completely irrelevant. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. Yep. So the show opens with Stephanie. She comes down to the ring with a sling on her arm because she was injured from the night before. Um, Ripped then, her arm out of her socket or yeah. something like that. And then she comes down to the ring, and then she's like... I knew that I could, was going to be able to get the best out of Ronda Rousey, mm-hmm. and she makes it seem like this was an elaborate scheme to give everybody the best show possible. Yep. Um, and then uh, she calls her out, and then, yeah, you know, she's like, "You could be, you could join me, and we could be an unstoppable force." Yeah. And Ronda's kind of just standing there. She's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, it sounds like a good idea." And then she kind of gets like the. The well, evil look. Didn't they hug each other first? No, nah, she went. For, I think she went for. I think. I thought Stephanie they hugged. Might have hugged her. <clears throat> I thought they hugged, and then she, once they backed away, she got the look on oh, her face. It's, it's possible. Um, and then. Uh, and that's when she puts her in the arm bar. Yeah, and then Stephanie taps out, cries like a little girl. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> she has to be escorted out of the the arena because mm-hmm. she's in so much pain. Yeah. Um, but yeah. This is, uh, we're, we're assuming, is just them uh, taking Stephanie off TV. Yeah, it makes sense. And, and it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Ronda. I would assume she will stay on Raw. It, that would make the most sense, yeah. seeing as, you know, it's the premiere show. You want right. to oh, yeah. have the most marketable people on it. That's <clears throat> true. Um, anyway. So, uh, yeah. So up next we have 
a uh, a tag team uh, match in the women's division. Yeah, but it was just Nia came out first, yes. right? Nia mm-hmm. came out, and then Alexa Bliss and Mickey James came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Nia came out with the championship, she got a very good reaction. Yeah. There was you deserve it chance, and you know she looked like she was really excited. But I was confused. Was, are they really chanting for her, or is it just because it's the Raw after Mania? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I'm gonna, so how so, am I, as a fan, supposed to yeah, perceive this? It's true. It's very confusing. Yeah, Corey Graves had to go and ruin everything, even everything so confusing. Damn it, <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, it's true. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a very good to see that mm-hmm. kind of reaction because yeah. not too long ago, Nia Jax didn't really have the best, you know. Like, no, no. I guess a... uh, public image. In terms of like how people felt about her, I guess. So. And they started coming around recently, like before yeah. this whole no, nonsense. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. Like, like it now. seems when she was on Total Divas, it seemed like it, she was starting to come around because you know they got a more in depth look at the yeah. person behind the character. It's true. But um, anyway, yeah, Alexa calls Naya the bully. Yes. Because Naya took out Mickey James and Alexa was distraught throughout the whole match, and uh-huh. that's the reason that Naya won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was pretty funny. Yep, and then Nia just tells her to shut up, basically through her whole speech, and then she says, "Well, I want to introduce you to my partner." And out comes Ember Moon. Yeah, so, which is uh, a pleasant surprise. Yes, and cause... you know what else? What? It's another face in the women's division. There and wasn't there, that many of them. There is not. There yeah. is two on SmackDown. Well, co- well. <laughs> oh, on SmackDown, you mean? Yeah, in Raw too. Oh, no, there's three on SmackDown. Becky, uh, Charlotte. Oh, Naomi. Naomi. Yes. Yeah. I forget Naomi. <laughs> How could you forget her? She won the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Yeah. Anyway. Um, she won the female reproductive system yes, Battle Royal. Yes, that was a very strange looking <laughs> trophy. Uh, but yeah, Ember comes out very exciting. Uh, she, uh, I think Nia starts the match. Um, then Ember comes in and she completely destroys Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. And uh, she makes her... Uh, so she pins her after an eclipse. Yeah, and Alexa did a beautiful job selling it. Uh-huh. Like it, it was perfect. It was like the best debut she could have possibly it's had. On so her. much better when you have competent wrestlers taking moves. When you almost had Billy Kay die from the. Well, that was part of the. I know it was part of the story, but it didn't look good when it, it happened. That means they did their job. No, that was an accident <laughs> that they lucked into. I guess that's true. That's probably what that's, actually. I guess happened. that's true. Oh, well, now she's got airbags to to uh, <laughs> save her from that. I guess that's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ember makes a huge uh, impact on her or as she enters the uh, the Royal roster. Mm-hmm. Well, last we year know. no one who no one who came up moved. Oh, I guess that's true. Because yeah, Bobby Ty... Roode came out, Ty came up on SmackDown. And neither yeah. of them moved, and uh, who, came, who came up on Raw? Elias. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the revival, the revival, and I feel like there was maybe not anyone else on Raw. I yeah. don't think they really added much on Raw last year. Either way, it's a, it's yeah. it's irrelevant. Fair enough, but um, you know WWE always changing things up, so you never know. Yeah, it's true. Yes. So then we go backstage, and <laughs> we have Braun and Nicholas there. Yep. They walk into Kurt Angle and said, "We're gonna have to relinquish the titles due to scheduling conflict." <laughs> He's in the fourth grade. He's yeah. got school. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, and then Nicholas Ray says. So. Well, yeah, Braun said that once he's done, he'll be back. Back, yeah. And then yeah. everybody will get these hands or something yeah, like that. that. Well, Nicholas that was, said. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty funny. It was. Um, so they did a very good job. I think the goal was to get the titles off the bar. Because mm, they're probably going to go to SmackDown. Yeah. And this way it gives you a reason to kind of like fill out time between because I, I think they also wanted to have like a, an important match on that royal rumble card and they made everybody go crazy on who was going to be bronze partner that, that was true. so yeah, so it there was, was fantastic. a lot of there was a lot of a lot of things going on mm-hmm. in this this one little story <laughs> well, it was funny because uh christine's cousin he i don't think he's ever watched wrestling before and he actually watched wrestlemania and uh-huh. christine was like what was your favorite part and he's like when the 10 year old won the title <laughs> This is the best part. <laughs> uh, it was funny. Um, so, yeah. Yep. It was, uh, it was a f- mm-hmm. very funny segment. And we got the debut of No Way Jose. A.K.A. the next person to get released from the company. No. Next member of Titus Worldwide. <gasps> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. That would make more sense. Um, do you have a reason for thinking that, or you're just no. saying it because he's a black guy that is... It has absolutely roster? nothing to do with race. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's just the fact that he's a going to be a lower mid-card guy that's going to go nowhere. Yeah. This is Adam Rose 2.0. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, um, even even with the Rosebud, is his conga line. Yeah, exactly. So, you know. Like, I don't know how well this is going to translate. It will the, not. Yeah, it's... It will not. And it's a shame, because I, I like Noe. I like Noe Jose, Jose yeah. as well, but he's got a terrible gimmick, which is very... Well, let me rephrase that. He's got a very gimmicky it's an gimmick. It's indie gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, it's something that, it like... Works, a, it worked it, in NXT yeah. for the smaller crowds yeah. and things like that. So... Where anyway. you actually have fan participation and stuff like yeah. that's the reason that the week after Mania is so much different because the fans actually are uh, into the product. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, before he even had his match, we got a promo video for him. Oh yeah, then, but it was like before the commercial. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, debuts next. It was kind of like their Oscar video. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, they had him come out. He had a squash match. He basically just hit well, like that. Where he throws, he throws the guy him out and punches him. I yeah. don't remember what the exact it, move it's is. It's not a very uh, technical move yeah. for by any stretch. Interesting choice. And uh, I guess we'll see where this goes. Well, the fact of the matter is the pool of NXT guys that aren't doing anything mm-hmm. and are okay are good enough to move to the main roster is actually kind of small. Yeah. Well, so. yeah, it's just over nxt is overcrowded right yes. now with top te- like who but, can main event the shows is but the problem is they're all doing stuff right now. right yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, why absolutely. elias came up because he wasn't doing anything yeah. this is the case with jose mm-hmm. bobby Roode was done ty Dillinger yep. was done so well ty could have had a title run as far as they were concerned yeah. ty Dillinger was done yeah i don't think they ever planned he could have he could have done a quick back and forth with bobby Roode. that would have been fine, that would have been that would have also kept bobby down there yeah, no. I well, think they were ready to move on to uh, who? Who? Bobby fought Shinsuke twice, right? Yeah. And then he lost it to McIntyre and moved up. Yeah, that okay. He did lose to McIntyre. I can't yeah. remember mm-hmm. that. So yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, and then McIntyre's they, only defense he lost to Almas, and that's when. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they were hurt. they were ready to to go with McIntyre, so they didn't want to waste time with right, Ty. Yeah. yeah. So it made sense. No, it does. Um. So after that, mm-hmm. like, he wins the squash match. I yep. don't remember if we said that or not. Um, so uh, goes backstage. Um, Kurt Angle is sitting back there mm-hmm. playing with this phone, probably. Uh, Sheamus and Cesaro come up, and she's and they go. Uh, so do you want to just give our titles back here, <laughs> or should we go into the ring a more formal uh, occasion? And Kurt Angle's like, "Well, you got to earn them back." Yeah. So I'm gonna have a tag team eliminator. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Is the winner of this going to face the bar at yes. the? Okay, yes. that's what I thought. So the winner of the the eliminator um, will face the bar at the world's greatest Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? I think uh, world, something like that. I think it's the, the world's greatest. I don't remember. Um, the the Royal Rumble, the network special at yes. the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, so the winner of that match will obviously be the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Uh, and then up next we have the first match yep. in the uh, the eliminator. Yeah, and that was the revival versus the club. Yeah. Um, yeah, this really wasn't a surprise. Uh, yeah. I mean, but it could have went if it either did way. go the other way. That's the super nail in the coffin on the revival. That's true. That is very if true. If the revival lost that match, which obviously they won, mm. uh, they hit a shatter shot on the eater of pins. Yes. Because you can't we- really call Bray that anymore because. <laughs> He has been revitalized. Yeah, well, he's also going to be on the winning side of things, probably. A little more, anyway. Yeah. Um, so. We did get a high yaw kick, so that's really... Course, you know, that's all you need. It's true, I mean. So. But yeah, yeah Carl Anderson eats a shatter machine, and he gets pinned. Yep. Revival moves on next week to face the winner of the match that is later on the night. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have Seth Rollins come out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Talks about being or joining the other members of the Shield in the Grand Slam Champion Club. Yeah. Um, then Finn comes out, right? Yeah. He says he wasn't the one that was pinned last night, so he deserves a title shot. Which means we were wrong in our review the other day, but that's nah, it's irrelevant because I, I I couldn't remember. Mm-hmm. So. Oh well, 
And then Seth, you know, he's okay with that, and that brings the Miz out. Mm-hmm. And the Miz says he wants to invoke his rematch clause. But not tonight. No, nope. It's going to wait till Backlash. Yeah, because yes. Seth wanted the rematch then. Mm-hmm. But Miz is like, nah, uh uh I am not dressed to wrestle. No. Do you know how expensive this suit is? Yeah, he likes to ask those silly questions. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then right, it was the two of them standing up with the Miz Yeah, and, this is weird because Miz is like, I don't want my rematch now, but we can have a handicap match. Yeah, so I can wrestle in these clothes as long as it's three so, on two. Yeah. <laughs> so and uh, then uh, we got the return of Jeff Hardy. Yeah. And um, he, and he wasn't woken. No. Or he was regular Jeff Car- Hardy. Yeah, but they <laughs> definitely made the right move here. Keeping him away from Matt. He's going to SmackDown. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I know, I'm just saying. There's right? no way but I, but I think that's it's absolutely the right move. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, li- I like me some regular Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. They did the right thing by making Bray his apprentice, or whatever the hell you want to call him. It gives it gives Matt something to do mm-hmm. without him like being lost in the shuffle. Right. Because you can have him dominate the tag team division, no problem. Oh, absolutely. And it's believable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas as opposed to if he's just having random feuds mm-hmm. for no reason in the mid card, it's kind of doesn't do anything. It's a waste of a gimmick. It's true. Um, that is true. So yeah, the three of them, or I should say, Jeff, Finn, and uh, Seth make the Miz Taraz run away. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it. it's so so uneven. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. you got two jobbers and a okay in a, wrestler yeah. against three of the best wrestlers in the company. Yeah. So uh, and that ends up being our main event for the evening yes we didn't find out that the match was created until later right but we all figured that was it was gonna happen happen. yeah it's gonna happen then we got sasha banks versus mandy rose Uh um absolution comes out first sasha comes out right and then bailey i think sasha might or sasha out first first. it doesn't matter regardless sasha and absolution were both out the Mm -hmm. bell rings i think and then bailey's music hits yep. she comes down to the ring and uh, I, she I gets thought, in the ring does her thing and then gets back out of the ring yeah. and stands in sasha's she was making corner. her presence known yeah i honestly thought she was gonna go on commentary at first but mm-hmm. you know whatever yeah um and you know i mean the only notable point of the match is what happened toward yeah. the end where mandy rose got into bailey's face outside the ring Bailey went to swing at her. She ducks. She ends up hitting Sasha. Yep. They get into it. And what did Mandy roll her up? Or Oh, she hit her finisher on her, right? Uh, No, she just hits her with the knee. Oh, the knee, yes. Yeah. I, I've never seen her do that like as a finisher mm. before. But I guess w- once a wrestler's distracted, everything yeah. else gets thrown out the sure, window. Their head it's is... like off the top rope. If you if you don't know it's coming, you get thrown down. Yeah. Automatic pin for the, uh, for the mid-carders anyway. Yep. So, uh, and then uh, we get Paige making her retirement speech. Yeah. Um, we kind of figured that was coming when she grabbed the microphone. Yeah. And, and, it w- and she was alone mm-hmm. because uh, at the rest of Absolution, I yep. think, they just went up the ramp. We learned that she is leaving the company because Alberto El Patron is coming in. <laughs> anyway, so what she actually says is that, <laughs> is that uh, she thanks the fans for everything. And, she's, and the women in the back. Yes. And she f- said that uh, four years ago she debuted in this, I think it was the same building. Mm-hmm. It was right after WrestleMania 30. Uh, and she won the Divas Championship her first night. Yep. And she found it fitting that since she's no longer to compete, this would be a good place to retire. So she retires. She goes up the ramp. She does a little skip thing. And that's it. And, and then uh, Paige... Uh, has officially retired. Yeah. But she does hope, like Daniel Bryan, maybe at some point yeah. she'll be well, able she, to... I think she said that when one door closes, another one opens, right? I don't think she no, did. she didn't say that? Okay. I think that Shane said that uh, all right. on SmackDown. Okay. Um, Although I do I do know what you're, what you're getting at. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Shane said that when he was talking about Daniel Bryan. Oh, okay. And then... Maybe that, that was, was it. You just linked... No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, from that this. was it. Um, I don't, I don't know what the hell they're gonna do with uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. I mean, um, they might get split up, or they'll both go to SmackDown and they'll be and flounder. No, they'll they'll be like Paige's like body or not bodyguards. Oh, uh, something. I don't know. Why wouldn't you keep Paige a heel? I don't know. There's no reason not to. I guess if it's they're true. gonna keep Shane a face. 
It would make a lot more sense. Yeah. You can believe Paige. You just ruined real. everything. I know, I know. You were, you wanted Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville to, to fly under? No, I didn't want them. I was just confused because, you know, their whole reason seemed to come up was to be with Paige, oh, basically. Yeah. They ruined everything. <laughs> they didn't ruin anything. I know. If you no, want, you want to be WWE. like the rest of the internet, you can blame it on Sasha. Oh, for, for kicking Paige. That, is, in the that head. is true. She, yeah. did, she did do that. Uh-huh. But I think that was kind of like a compounding thing. Oh, it was absolutely. Just it was just the nail time. in the... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, so then we have Elias come out. Yep. And, uh, well, this crowd was, was fantastic for Elias. Well, they, they were, like, doing the exact opposite of mm-hmm. what he wanted. Yep. He called them scumbags, and they said, we are, we scum- are scumbags. Them, and then we deserve it, and stuff like that. So he was able to sing, and then he got interrupted yep. by the debuting and returning Bobby Lashley. Yeah. His eyebrows look weird. They're like painted on. It's very strange. That's what you you took from. He's him. a very strange looking man. Yeah. He's got that. Uh, the, he wears the headband mm-hmm. now. Apparently, yep. that kind of like draws attention. That was his thing, thing in Impact. Yeah, it wasn't his yeah. thing when his first time no. around though. Um, so uh, he comes in. And but he's he, gotten much better in the ring because obviously oh, no, I no, watched I'm, Impact yeah, and I've I'm, seen him progress. He I'm, was. I'm sure he's good. Yeah. But, or I should say, I'm sure he's improved, you know, as most people do over time. Um, but he comes in and he, I think he hits a, I know, a I know, stalling suplex. I know that was what he ended with. He right. did a couple of moves before oh, yeah. that too. Um, but it was a very long stalling <laughs> suplex. Yeah. So it was impressive. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, and <laughs> the crowd remembered who strong. he was. Well, yeah. Well, it's not that hard. You know what I mean? He, he was a big name. Not that that long ago. It was like ten he years ago. He was with ago. the president. It's true. That that might actually have worked against him. <laughs> Either way. Um, yeah. So uh so Bobby Lashley's back. Yeah. Um he did they did a um an interview as like one of those after Raw Raw thing, yeah. Um and he said he was coming back for unfinished business. Business. I don't know what that means though. Brockus. But how is that unfinished? I don't know. Because obviously that was the rumor, but I don't understand how that could be unfinished business. But he did allude that he wants something, and he said it like that. Was the biggest championship he won was what, the ECW title? I believe so. Yeah. So, and I don't really think there's anyone around he feuded with. I don't know. Yeah. I, that was during the time period where I wasn't. Oh, watching, same here. So, yeah. But the, all I know uh, is from right. the pay-per-views that right. I watched. Right, ah, fair enough. And Bobby Lashley really didn't do a whole lot, so. Yeah, well, I mean, he left to reinvent himself, kind oh, of. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. taking anything away from him. No, I know, but I mean, that's, you know. Yeah, so, but. Why most guys leave. I just don't understand what unfinished business means. That's really all I was getting at. Well, you know what? You're just going to have to sit down and watch the show. It's true. Yes. It's almost as if I was going to do that anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's true. All right. So up next, we have a backstage segment. Mm-hmm. Owens and Zane try to plead for jobs from Kurt Angle. And Kurt Angle said the best line of the night. The internet was uh, having a field day with this it was one. great. So <laughs> Kurt goes... My tag team division is currently pretty full, but I hear TNA is hiring, which was that was just all kinds of awesome. It was uh, a little bit of a shocker to hear him mentioning it on TV. I think. I mean, granted, TNA is dead, but uh, well, you know, yes, that is true. But I think also maybe that's why it's okay that they say it. Though. Well, they also took footage from I think with the whole broken gimmick, they were able to utilize some, and I think they want to do stuff with Bobby Roode and uh, AJ Styles. So I think they're I, trying to acquire. I, th- I think um, for well, they use pictures too. During, yeah, I was gonna uh, say during the Hall of Fame, they used some mm-hmm. clips for some people. I don't yeah. remember who it was. But. If anybody was gonna mention TNA, you would have expected it to be Jarrett. It's true. <laughs> that man has no filter. He, he was he helped create it. It's true. Well, so, yeah, it was his brainchild. I mean, you know, I get that. I guess it was a dig or not really. I don't know. It doesn't it didn't matter. matter. It still but, very funny. But it's funny because we bring in all these new people. Some people are going to get going to be on the chopping block. It's true. That's and, like no way Jose. He's got like one week <laughs> to figure it out. And one then week. I wouldn't be surprised. You really think? I, he, it was, I, I'm, I, I can't defend it because I don't. Yeah. Or what he could possibly yeah. do. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's kind of limited in the ring. He's just an entertaining guy, but it's a gimmick that's not going to work on TV. Put him with gold dust. 
that'd be uh that'd be an idea mm. it would be kind of a little expected because that's just what they do nowadays i guess so that's true yeah no that's a good question anyway let's go back to let's move forward not move forward. backwards oh so uh but yeah kurt angle goes well if you're not interested in being a tag team i have one spot open and you two could fight for it so he makes a match for them later on in the night yep so we get owens and zane again yeah which is fine because their matches are fantastic mm-hmm. but i think if you like do like a like a chart of who fought who mm. the most amount of times over the last two years. Probably those two. It's probably them. <laughs> so, which is, like I said, it's fine. The match is always good, but it's just no, one match funny. that felt like they fought forever was Finn and Bray. <laughs> just oh. felt like that feud would never yeah, die. That, and they probably had two matches between <laughs> no. the whole time. Besides so. the house shows, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, but those don't really yeah. count. Um, so I guess Heath Slater and Rhino make an open challenge, but this was a part of the tag team thing, no, or was it not? It, it was wasn't. Not, no. Okay. It was Heath Slater and Rhino saying. I, it was Heath Slater saying that he belonged there because he's got to he's got to feed his kids. Mm. I don't have just one kid. I, got I don't have kids. just two kids. I got a bunch of kids. <laughs> that that man is very. Oh, uh, and. During during the I know we're way past this, but during the opening segment, Miz was talking about his daughter, mm. and then oh, yeah, the crowd right. started chanting, "He's got a kid! Yeah, yeah. He's got that's a kid!" That's right. Um, so, but yeah, the authors of pain answer the challenge. Yeah, um, it, I, a, little, I, a little surprising. Like we knew that they were coming. It was up, eventually going to come. But yeah, yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't <clears> think that it'd be on Raw because, like. And it just doesn't feel like a big brooding tag team is for all right now. Yeah, but well, whatever. Yeah, especially I mean, with the Bludger Brothers, you think they would have someone go after well, I mean, them? Maybe that's what it will eventually lead up to. You know, I don't I, know. I guess it's either way. Like like we talked about <clears throat> last night is that I mean the authors of pain they're just big guys that throw people around. They're kind of one dimensional to their yeah. gimmick. I'm not a huge fan. Um, yeah. Um, so they have their match. They destroy Heath Slater mm-hmm. and Rhino. Um, and then after the match, somewhat inexplicably, they kind of just leave Paul Ellering right. at the like at the ring, and then they leave. That's it. I so. mean, maybe they could have singles careers, you know? It's possible. I'm sure they'll keep them together for a little while. Yeah. But, I mean, they're, they've are they been pretty limited to what they've done in yeah. NXT. I mean, it was mm-hmm. mostly squash matches, to be honest. Yeah. Also, I don't think they technically speak English on in canon. But yeah, I guess not. I think they like speak some. I don't know. I'm yeah, sure. I don't remember where they're from. Um, but, but I'm sure they do speak English. But I yeah. think that like on TV or whatever, mm-hmm. they don't. Yeah. But uh, I, that's why they had Paul Ellering. Yeah. Well, that and you know, yeah. guys that are yeah you need a manager. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Sanity would have been the right call up here. It would have made more sense, but. Who knows if Sanity's coming up anytime soon True. anyway. Yeah. Because, you know, they still are kind of ingrained in the tag team division. And uh, Killian Dane is still... He's still got unfinished business with Lars. Yeah, I don't kind know of. if that's that important, yeah. though. I think that it's more likely that he gets a shot at the, the North, North American, American title. title than him continuing with Lars if they... If they, would, they would keep him for that over having unfinished business mm-hmm. with Lars. That, that's what I'm No, thinking. that makes sense. Or he could be um, a contender for the NXT championship, too. Possibility. Because he's had matches with uh, Black, so mm-hmm. it's, not yeah. like, it's not like it's unheard of. Not out of the realm of possibilities. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, up next, Roman Reigns comes out. He does. Um, <laughs> so they really like these shoot-style promos. I guess, but it feels forced, so that's the problem. This one kind of did. This one kind of went a little too far because he was literally using terms that suggest insider terms well but not even like insider term well it is but he said that like no one's spartan him up yeah as if he didn't know he was gonna lose well that's what it it, that's what it means yeah yeah no but i mean that's what the rumors were going around before it was even said that i think roman last minute roman was told yeah which is which is fine yeah but you don't really talk about that. 
Because you're literally saying on TV where I don't think it's ever been acknowledged. Right. Like, this is predetermined. Mm-hmm. Granted, you know, I guess it's not a secret. But either Some way. Some people it is. Because honestly, if they, even if, because it just feels weird that they do that. I don't necessarily have a problem with it because yeah. it works. But That's at the true. same time, it's kind of weird. A little bit. Um, a little he, bit. He's annoyed that no one told him and that they did this behind his back. Mm-hmm. Um, and he feels like they yeah, have. They called out Vince, him. right, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, and then he uh, he said he found out about his next match against Brock Lesnar, and uh, it's going to be. Uh, he wasn't even told. He found out on the internet, mm-hmm. um, and he said that if he keeps on getting put in matches with Brock, eventually he's going to win with, win the Universal Championship, which yep. I guess makes sense because you know, sure. eventually Brock's got to give up, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. I'll just retire the title. Yeah, it's true. It's always possible. <laughs> it's a dumb name anyway. Yep. So, uh, then Samoa Joe makes his return. Yes. Comes out, calls Roman a failure and a liar, and says that every time that he's in the ring with Lesnar, he loses. That Roman, that is. Yeah. And then... Uh, Even though Samoa Joe lost him, too. Yes. And then Samoa Joe challenges Roman to a match at Backlash. So what do you think the odds of this being a universal title match? Quite high. Yeah, it yeah. is. Like, like what you is, had said When earlier. is Backlash? I think it's shortly after. Well, that's the... It's the next pay-per-view. Yeah. But I think it's... Like, May? It's probably or early is... May. Yeah. I don't know for sure. But I would imagine <clears throat> it's not that long after that. Yeah. Um, But, I mean, we've been waiting for this return. Yeah. Well, he's Samoa been Joe. cleared yeah. for a while, I think. And I like that. Because I think May some 6th. of Roman's best work has been with Samoa Joe yeah. in their singles matches. Mm-hmm. So that's fantastic that they're going to give him a chance at the pay-per-view together. Yeah, it's a good pairing. So Yeah, absolutely. So um, no problems here. Yeah. And if it's for the Universal title, it's even better. Even better, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I think that's really the majority of people's thoughts is that, you know, you've built Roman up. You might as well just put the title on him. Uh, get it point, over yes. with. Yes. Yeah. The fact that they because didn't do they, it is surprising. <laughs> They got their word through about Brock Lesnar, you know, through ro- the whole storyline. Yeah, they, they, it worked. It worked, exactly. Yeah. And the you, fact, I think Vince was too upset that people, like, thought that that was going to happen. So yeah. it's like, yeah, not happening. Not going to happen. Yep. Whatever. And we got Titus Worldwide versus Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. Yes. Is, do we have a name for their tag team? It's the Woken we, Ones. Is that really their name? No. Oh, okay. But I like it. All right, fine. It makes sense. Eh, whatever. Um, For man. But yeah, uh, obviously it's Titus Worldwide, so they lost. Um, <laughs> they Bray, beat the bar, what, three times on Raw? <laughs> yeah, but that was a fluke. So um, Bray goes for the sister Abigail, but throws, I believe it was Apollo. Oh, into Matt. For... Yeah. Hits the twist of fate. Matt pins him, and that's the end of the match. Yeah. Uh, this ha- that happened before. What? That move, that sequence. Um, I don't think it was intentional, though, when it no. happened. Yeah. Because they never really t- worked together. Mm, I know yeah. that Bray has done that before, mm-hmm. but I can't remember. Maybe he did it with Randy. And oh, that's maybe. What may- that's yes, Randy. that's that's right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Um, so they will go on to face the Revival next week to find out who will face the bar. It's funny. The-, the last time Bray was in a tag team is when... I was actually kind of interested in what he was doing. Yes. The work with Randy was very good on it. Was, it it was. So that definitely. And we got to heal Randy, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, so, uh, like I said, they'll face the mm-hmm. uh, they'll face the revival, go and face the bar, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, and then we have our Owens versus Zayn match. Yep. And, of, as usual, this didn't disappoint. Nope. For a TV match. Uh-huh. Um, I think the two of them knocked each other down in the middle of the ring. Yep. Ref hit 10 count. Nobody got up. So nobody's joining Raw. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Because uh, like, it wasn't even like Angle came out to say, oh, you both lost. No mm-hmm. one's no one's staying on Raw. Oh. JoJo goes, Duh, I have been informed <laughs> that since they both were counted out, neither of them will be joining Raw. Mm-hmm. So it was funny. So I'm guessing we're going to get some sort of Heath Slater thing like... Uh, the next couple weeks, I or no? It's it's interesting. There's no openings. Like, all right, if they no show obvious... up on Impact tomorrow, I'll tell you. All right? Okay. There's no <laughs> obvious openings, I should say. No, because they... like the Heath Slater and Rhino thing was pretty an easy fit. Mm-hmm. But... Unless they 
do the you know because it's not a drift it's just a super yeah. shakeup so, yeah. yeah it's it's just know. changing so unless they show up on nxt <laughs> which would be kind of yeah it'd be interesting well, that would be their next set of tapings because oh yeah no it's tonight nxt it's just from yeah, before just takeover yeah so the so tapings they're... either are happening around now mm. or haven't happened yet. yeah probably happening around now though. yeah something like that probably tomorrow or something so, like they that. very well could have be there there's no reason why they aren't makes sense because you know they tape they could bring it up on raw and say oh look you know they came to nxt and then yeah. probably more people will be like what it's possible it's not very likely but it's possible. No, 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 no 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 yeah yep. um backstage we had a pretty good segment yes um i think it was jeff <laughs> finn and seth walking down the hallway mm -hmm. um and then matt's just standing there jeff goes over they have uh they have a nice little greeting. Jeff gets into his uh, woken lingo or yeah. broken or whatever. And then him and Bray Wyatt shake hands, right, I think? Yeah. And then... I think they said it was nice to see you and stuff like that. <laughs> and then Jeff walks back over and Finn and Seth like, what the hell was that? Je well, Jeff goes. Eh. I mean, uh, Seth and Finn, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Ah, so stuff. It's, it's nice that they kind of, like, reference mm -hmm. stuff with it. Like, because... It's always nice when they don't need to go 100%. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you limit people by doing that. And then Jeff showed up during the uh, Ultimate Deletion, too. Yes. So. so that was part of the reason why right. there was a connection yeah. there. So it, it's it, it's always nice when they have a little leeway in terms of, okay, you're associated with right, this right. person yeah, it's not and like this person. You walk this line, you walk this line, don't yeah. look left or right. That makes it very boring. Yeah, so exactly. It, it's good when they do stuff mm -hmm. like this. Yep. Um so uh and then we got the six-man tag main event of yeah. seth finn and jeff versus the Miztourage. so it's the upper mid card against two jobbers and a uh mid card yeah and obviously finn seth and jeff won yes um, uh, the intercontinental champion wins after uh hitting a stomp on the miz mm -hmm. and then each and then bo and dallas got uh bo and dallas uh, yeah <laughs> bo and curtis yeah um they both both got uh everybody's finisher after yes. that so it was a nice little spectacle mm -hmm. to end the show on basically and then after the show i think i saw people post online they were playing with beach balls in the ring uh finn and seth were kicking them outside the ring like into the crowd and stuff like that they were having fun yeah i guess Cares. still not good to see that but yeah whatever. At least they didn't do it on TV. There, it didn't take over any matches. That's true. There was not uh there was no Beach Bowl Mania or any uh, Cesaro jumping into the crowd. That's probably why Cesaro didn't have a match. <laughs> no, back, you have to again. stay back here. Not again. And I know they the main event matches they taped this week were I think all cruiserweight matches. Makes sense. They yeah. weren't on TV at all, so I don't think they're going to be. Which is fine because yeah. they're not. You know, they're, they're making the right decision. Yeah. The having them on main event is good because it's really just for the live crowd. That's true. So that's the kind of the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, moving on over to SmackDown. Yes. Uh, um, a solid SmackDown for sure. Yeah, no, I thought they did a decent job with SmackDown. It yeah. felt like it was more thought out, I guess. More planned than yeah, Raw was. I guess that's what it is. They had more time. That's really what it was. <laughs> yeah, I guess the extra, whole day. extra day. Well, yes and no, because then they had some matches that were kind of head scratchers. Not really head scratchers, but the finishes were like, oh, okay, well, you didn't yeah. really need to go jump through those hoops for the, us to get to this point. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh... But, yeah. Oh, no. no. Uh, yeah, so Raw opens up with Raw, Shane... Raw, SmackDown. <laughs> SmackDown opens up with Shane coming out. Um, so we're like, oh, great. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. So he says that now that Daniel Bryan had his first match, he is now a full-time wrestler. Mm -hmm. Um, so that means that we need to replace him. Yes. And like you said, when one door opens or another, one door closes, another one opens mm -hmm. up. Um, so he announced that Paige will now be the general manager of, uh, SmackDown. Yes. Which was a very pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Um, and then our first, oh. Gonna I was going to say, it's just it's a good fit. No, absolutely. Yeah. And it's more out of, you know, the norm, I guess. I guess, yeah. It's, um, it's not like we're going to get somebody that was, you know, uh, not a suit, but you know what I mean. Somebody who's like a McMahon. Figure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, it's good because, you know, Daniel Bryan was like that, but I think they tried too hard to well, put him into stories. The problem with 
and I mean, we could go this route with Paige is that he, you know, really wanted to be an in-ring competitor. So yeah. he was kind of just phoning it in for a while there. Yeah. And just, you kind of knew that he was miserable doing yeah. it. But I, I, at the same time, I think this is also a more natural mm -hmm. fit for Paige because she's more of a, more of a talker yeah. than yeah, Ryan is. That's true. So, uh, but yeah, she yeah. Uh, she makes her first proclamation. Mm -hmm. Well, and since she says we have you know a healthy Daniel Bryan and he hasn't wrestled on a, well, I guess a regular TV show in mm -hmm. three years, he's gonna <laughs> wrestle tonight. And then she kind of is like, hmm, who's he gonna wrestle? And she kind of ponders for a minute, and then the crowd starts saying Rusev Day. Yep. And she's like, no, 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 we're getting away from that. Yeah. And Shane, then Shane had some weird faces during mm -hmm. that. And he, she does it again, and then the crowd starts chanting AJ Styles. So like, oh, wait a second. Maybe we should pick that guy. That guy. So Which is, she, I'm sure, who they expected to get the chance for at first. Right, but, you know, it's Rusev Day. They like to chant that. It's That's all Rusev it is. Day. And then, you know, today we learned that it's going to be Rusev and The Undertaker at the Greatest Royal Rumble in a casket match. Yeah. That, <laughs> Rusev posted on Twitter. He's like, "Bury me slowly, brother." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! That but is, I mean, that's, that's a big great. match for Rusev. You know, that's I mean, true. despite the way they've been booking him, right? I well, mean, how many people? You know, only you got to remember, there's only so many titles. Oh yeah. So as long as he's featured on TV regularly, that's really the main thing. Yeah. yeah. So even if he loses some matches in and like that don't really matter it's not that big of a deal so but yeah daniel bryan versus AJ styles our main event for the evening yes and you know how are you gonna uh, be mad at a show that has that as its main event it is a good point yeah uh, unless they like like the like swerve you and don't actually make the match i happen. guess that's fair <laughs> That is fair. Yeah, so... Uh, and then we had a number one contenders match for the tag team titles. Yes. Was this a match for Backlash, or is it... F there was no uh, uh, timeline for when that uh, match was going to happen. You see, I don't remember. Okay. Because I, I think they said it, but I assumed it was at the battle, uh, mm -hmm. at the Royal Rumble, but I could be wrong. It could be a Backlash. Cause I gotcha. I thought the same thing for the U.S. title match mm -hmm. that happened later on, but that right. one is for sure at Backlash. The, right, backlash, okay. So... But anyway, it Even was the, all the titles are going to be defended at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Right. So this I, was I the New Day versus the Usos, the other two teams in the Triple Threat, which <laughs> makes no sense because the Usos should automatically get a rematch for their title. It, it, it was really confusing. It seems like this is one of those. I mean, usually they keep this. Yeah, that's a thing. It's a very, it's a very common or not common, but it's right. like it's expected. Yes, I expect eventually we're mm -hmm. gonna get a blow off match, they, or you know, the Miz did the same exact thing the night before. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, irrelevant. I think they just wanted to make this match. Right. So and instead again, of instead of having the Bludgeon Brothers face the, uh, Usos. the Usos first, and then maybe having the New Day versus the mm -hmm. Usos, they just wanted to get do this instead of requiring another match with the Bludgeon Brothers. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think that that was the whole reason yeah. behind it. And the Usos ended up winning, which... <laughs> it, it's not a just, surprise. No. Um, hit the I, splash I, for the win. Yeah. Um, so now do they get two chances? When they lose, then they're like, all right, we want Maybe. to invoke our rematch. Maybe. I don't, I don't know where they're planning on going with this, though. Because I don't think... The weird thing, I don't yeah. expect the Usos to, to win. Win, yeah. yeah. So, but whatever. And uh, th but then that's you know eventually we're gonna get to that point where the Bludger Brothers are gonna have to lose. Yes, but it's just like, uh, is it gonna be the guys that they destroyed twice now? Right. Um, after the match mm -hmm. when the Usos won, the Bludger Brothers come out. They point their hammers at them for some reason, and then they cut to commercial. Yeah. So, I guess they're ready. I don't know whatever something like that yeah nah. uh so naomi's in the back she's getting interviewed about her uh women's royal rumble rumble victory mm -hmm. no, kisses. women's battle royal yep. victory there kisses you go. the trophy yeah she loves it um natalia's acting is so it's bad, bad. it it's really bad. is it's so over dramatic like every time she says a word her facial expression her hands have to go something has to be oh, done yeah. and it's just and then you, you watch it transition back to naomi and you're like see that's all, that's all you gotta do yep. you can talk like a normal human and it's funny though because naomi is technically over the top I, I know i know <laughs> i know it's just natalia is much worse 
Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, Naomi start. Uh, she, not Naomi. Natalia's going on and on about how uh, she, uh, she Naomi didn't deserve to win the battle mm-hmm. royal for whatever reason, and uh, she says she can't wait till Ni- uh, Naomi goes to Raw, which yep. you know obviously would be such a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, uh, and then we got that match. Yes, the um, two of them. This wasn't the match to book in front of this crowd. Um, I, I feel like SmackDown just has a hard time putting a good women's match together. Uh, well, you got two good wrestlers on on the show, and both of them are faces. Yeah. No, Natalia's a heel. I didn't. Oh, oh, I thought you were Natalia. talking about this match. No. Oh, you're talking about Becky and Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. So you Fair can't enough. have them face each other. No, I know, but I, it just, it just, well, yeah. Natalia. Outside of the title picture, there's nothing. Because Natalia is strictly a, like, uh, technical wrestler. Mm-hmm. Naomi is strictly a, like, kind of more athletic wrestler. Mm-hmm. The two of them cannot go outside of their comfort zone. I guess that's true. So because there was a lot of awkward moments in the match where it seemed like a move was supposed to happen, but yeah. they changed it yeah. midway. N- Natalia cannot deal with a lot of like high flying stuff, mm-hmm. and Naomi is not really the best in terms of the technical stuff. Yeah. So they're not like Sasha who can deal with both. Right. They're not yeah. like Charlotte who and Becky who. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I got you. So that that's that has a lot to do yeah. with it. If Natalia is put in a match with someone who can do that, like when she wrestles Charlotte, Charlotte. oh yeah, they were good matches. They put on yes. great matches. So it, it, it's it's not necessarily styles like clashing. It's just they're wrestlers who cannot go outside of their comfort zone. Yeah, but and you know we did see this feud about a what, year and a half ago. Uh, no, it was, was it last summer. Yeah, it was last yeah, it was summer. Last summer. 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 Okay, because um, Naomi won the the women's championship last year. Yeah. Right, and at WrestleMania. She, yeah, that's and right. She lost it to Natalia at SummerSlam. Summer yeah. Still is head scratching. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna let you take this one because I know how much. You... I'm, not, I'm not. Oh, done you're not done yet. Naomi right. won with the split-legged moonsault. Yes. Not a surprise. Which makes She's sense got considering. The momentum. Yeah, exactly. Um, so obviously they're not gonna have a lose. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So like you said, <laughs> um, Renee goes into the back. Uh, she's at Shinsuke's locker room. She wants to find out what his, why he did what he did the night before, mm-hmm. or uh, at WrestleMania. So she knocks on the door, and she goes, Shinsuke, uh, what, what, how come you uh, did what you did at, at WrestleMania? He goes, well, maybe I was too emotional. And, uh, and I'm very sorry. And then he winks. It's like, you know, <laughs> I really mean that. And Renee goes, that doesn't seem uh, very sincere. He's like, oh, sorry, no speak English. <laughs> and then just walks away. Yeah, it was great. Oh, my God. So, but, you know, I just felt like he was more confident oh, yeah. in this. Like, like it just yeah. it, it just felt so much more natural. And oh, I was yeah. like, all right, well, I, I'm on board. In all fairness, it's always easier to be a heel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Face. Except for Natalia, she can't get either of them right. Well, yeah, but you know, maybe she has an easier time being bad at being a heel than she does <laughs> at being a face. I guess that's true. Um, but oh, yeah, because it, it's always easier to be a jerk. Yes. So that's true. It just it played it played off so well. Mm. It, it, it's perfect. It's good because yeah. he's you know, it's a good it's a good storyline. And here. we've added a dimension to Shinsuke's character. Yeah. And he's, because he's been a face the entire time he's been yeah, in the company. Yeah, so. exactly. So this was necessary. Uh huh. Um. All right. So what happened next? Uh. So Charlotte comes out. She talks about her match with Oscar. Yes. And how she broke the streak. It's true. She yeah. did. We're still very surprised about that. Yeah, but you know. Um. And so she asks, "Who's next?" Basically. Yes. And then out comes. The iconic duo, yeah, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Yeah, I was um, not expecting. I this. was not. I was like, really? They're gonna have them face up with Charlotte, and then everything played out. And I said, Oh, okay. Oh that no, makes the, what, little, what they that did makes was more great. sense. Yeah, yeah, what they did was smart. But again, this was me going, Oh, great, more heels on SmackDown. Also true, but um, it could change. So. I guess that is true. Yeah. Well, so they come out, 
and they make fun of Charlotte because Charlotte apparently is thanking everybody yeah. under the sun mm-hmm. for every accomplishment she's done, which yeah. I think Natalia actually did that more when she... Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, but it was just one of those yeah. things. I don't mean to be fragging on Natalia, but it just seems like yeah, everything... You know, it's fair. Um, she deserves it. And then, you know, they beat down Charlotte, which was not very good. Well, because... The- Charlotte held them off for a very uh, yeah. long time. They got out to the outside, threw her, what, over the announce table, and then back over the announce table, and then tried to lift her back in the ring, and it took both of them, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Um, so the two of them looked very weak in their beating it, up. In that, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, granted, that's their thing. They're going to cheat yeah. and uh-huh. things like that. Yeah. And when they, what what they do, they're fantastic at. Well, yeah, they're, they're very good character work. Yeah, exactly. Their yeah. physical abilities are very limited, but... Um, well, Peyton's I think... Peyton's gotten much better in the ring, yes. but Billy's still not great. We don't really see much of Billy wrestle. Yeah, I think she's, it's because she's not that no, great. I, I realize yeah. it's... She just seems uncomfortable. Like, when I've watched her matches, it just... I don't know, just nothing feels natural. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so... But, yeah, they beat down Charlotte, and then they leave, go up the ramp... Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, Carmella's music hits. It's finally happening! Yes. And she comes down with the briefcase. And at this point, hold on. Okay. The referees, before they left the ring, came out and kind of, I guess, shoot them away, right? Yeah, they were trying to help uh, Charlotte Yeah, up. so Carmella's running down the ramp, and I guess she like kind of runs into Mike Chioda and starts grabbing him to go to the ring. So they're in the ring together, and she goes to hand him the briefcase. Sure you want to do this? <laughs> Yeah. It was very it, funny. It went on for like yeah. a good 30 seconds. She's yelling at him, cash it in, oh, cash it in. screaming. Yeah. Screeching. Yeah, actually. screeching. Yes, that so is the correct word. It's funny because word. he had no problem cashing in Baron Corbin. No. no. But this one, he's like, oh, and at how this does point, this work? They're giving Charlotte time to get up. And yeah. I'm like, oh, here we go. It's yeah, going to well, be Baron Corbin 2.0. That's, that's what I was thinking at first. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they're just going to have her not cash it in. Nope. Charlotte gets up. Carmella kicks her. Charlotte goes down. One, two, three. Yeah. It was, New uh, women's champion. I, I like the way they did it. Yeah. Uh, because they did so many fake cash-ins, they finally mm-hmm. pulled the trigger. And it... Because every time she comes out now, it's like, oh, well, she might not yeah. even do it. So... Right. And this I mean, time it did. The only thing that kind of sucks is that the transition... Charlotte breaking the streak, and then all of a sudden it gets kind of. Why? But I mean, that's it the takes whole. The Charlotte, it takes the title off Charlotte without no, making no, no. her look. Bad. I, I I know, but I mean that's that's the whole reason for the money in the bank thing. Is yeah. it's it's a surprise. It comes out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. It, anybody can win it. Yeah. Um, so it, I, it I, just kind of sucked that you know we got went from that great match and. But I, I get it. Because, I think as I think it was fitting storytelling. No, abs- okay, fair enough. Yes, you're right. So because what I'm guessing is going to happen is Charlotte's going to go over to Raw, uh-huh. and sh- her and Ronda are going to kind of put the seeds there and then pick up later on. Yeah, that would make sense. But and it, it also makes it very easy for someone to come in and take that title from yes, Carmella. Yes, exactly. And that's I think where a lot of you know SmackDown had when Charlotte was there, she was on no top. No one was going to. No meet one her. was going to. No. Becky, but they they're not going to do that match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so now you put the title on a heel, and we could very easily have uh, Naomi win. Anybody, back, anybody, to Becky, anybody on that roster. Have Bailey go to SmackDown. Except give it to for her. Tamina. Well, obviously it's going to be Tamina. <laughs> um, but yeah, but no, yeah, this was the right decision. Uh huh. Um, Especially with the looming superstar shakeup, like you had. Said. Right. Yeah. So. so. The right move. Yes. Good job, Double Double E. Woo! Yeah. Oh, and then uh, we got this fantastic match next. I well, mean, it wasn't terrible. AJ was interviewed first. Oh, was he? Yes. Oh, yeah. sure. So, uh, yeah, Renee asks him how he feels about what Shinsuke did to him. Uh, he says he wants to shove his throat or his hand down Shinsuke's throat, but Shinsuke is not my problem. No, right no, no, now. no. We forgot the you forgot the U.S. title triple oh. threat match. You you should totally we, jumping we, ahead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what I was talking okay. about. Yeah, fair enough. Because, you know, there's only one person anybody cares about in this match. And, and that person did not win. Lost. So, yeah. You know, it's I mean, disappointing. It, this match was to face uh, Jinder at, um, at Backlash. Mm-hmm. So, so it was, yeah, Jinder was out sitting next to the commentator's table in, like, some Kmart <laughs> leather chair on, like, a carpet. Yeah, it was weird. Um, but, yeah, it was... Uh, Rude against Rusev versus Orton. Yes. 
Um, and or it hits an RKO on Rusev, and he wins. No, it was rude. He oh, yeah, rude. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's right. Rusev didn't get pinned twice. Oh, he did oh, not, Don't no. worry. No. Don't worry. Um, so. Yeah, again, the, the, it was just that it was twice that the person who could have invoked their rematch clause were the winners of both matches. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I guess they kind of just added a step It was to just it. like, yeah, well, let's throw a match in there since yeah. they're going to get the rematch it's anyway. Fair. It, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah um so uh so yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. gender and orton at backlash for the second year oh yeah row. okay so this one was at backlash <sighs> yeah yep mm-hmm. so uh so yeah yeah and then carmelo was interviewed by renee i believe right yes about no actually no it was dasha. oh it was dasha yes 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 that's right about her uh winning the you know the uh, women's championship and why tonight was the night and yeah. Carmelo's you know she, she was patient and when the time was right she struck yes and then uh she starts getting all teary eyed about who she was going to thank and then she was like nope I only thank myself and then uh you know she did it on her own and all that other good stuff she didn't need anybody's help nope and then I think Dasha goes like well what about Billy K and, and Peyton Rice, Rice. She's who like, who <laughs> So they weren't known as the iconic duo, right? They were the iconics. That's what they kept calling themselves. When I thought they called themselves the iconics in NXT. No, 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 no. on no, SmackDown they, last they, night. I'm pretty sure they. No, they just said that you may be the queen, but you're not iconic. Yeah, she, they said. I that guess too I could have sworn maybe it was the announcers that were talking about that. Maybe meaning that there was going to be more people brought into the group. That was the only maybe. thing. Be. Because I could have sworn they said that I, rather I, than I duo. thought I had ref- heard them referred to as the iconic duo, like that's fair. by I mean, the granted it said by on their Titantron. And, yeah, that's uh, true. Well, I'm sure that's who they were when they introduced them. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it's anything's mm-hmm. possible. I don't know who they would add to them, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Maybe Paige will be part of it. No, like they'll be part of page's thing and like absolution will be absorbed by or they will be absorbed by absolution and it'll just be a be like the nwo all over again. <laughs> the female nwo yeah why not hey i'm all for it exactly i don't know anyway let's go let's get yep, enough heels to do it um it's true yeah they, yeah they need to shake something up with smackdown's women roster that's that's all i really hope that this shake up accomplishes and gets some more teams of tag teams on raw because it seems like the tag team division really floundered well they added one with hardy and bray right um authors of pain he slayed and rhino might actually go to back to smackdown and they'll but that takes away a job or a tag team and puts a real one like they'll probably send oh you mean on raw yeah they'll probably send, so. they'll probably swap the two yeah. like the usos might even go to raw but smackdown tag division is so deep that they have multiple jobber tag teams that's true uh, so well you know technically raw has multiple jobber tag teams that's true it's, yeah. it's their legitimate tag teams that they're lacking. that's yeah they have plenty right. of tag teams yeah. just none of them are any good so well none of them are showcased good yes well anyway all right now get on to the aj interview yeah he said he uh he doesn't have to worry about shinsuke tonight daniel bryan is his problem and he says that he knows everything that daniel bryan's done and he knows that he's great but he is not phenomenal yes like aj is who would have ever thought we would see me and him in a wwe ring that is a good point because it is. Uh, daniel bryan had already retired by the mm-hmm. time i think or it was either by the time AJ made his debut Did, or it, shortly after. Was that the Rumble that Roman won, right? When uh, AJ debuted? No, that was the Rumble that Triple H won. Oh, that's right. It was for the... Yeah. I, although I think that that WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan won the Intercontinental Championship. Or that was the year before. It might have been the year. I think it was the year before. So yeah. then in that case, he had he had not retired yet, but he didn't mm. have, hadn't had a match in a year. Yeah, because I thought that WrestleMania was when Ryder won the Intercontinental title. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're right. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, yep. it, it seemed very unlikely. Nope. Um, but, yeah, the two of them put on a hell of a match. So, I don't know if it's you, but I just seem to notice every time Daniel Bryan gets hit in the head, it just seems like it, it's more than normal, uh, but I think it's just me realizing it. Yeah, well, also, I think it's them, him selling it because they try to... They like to play up injuries. Mm-hmm. Sammy so, and the Huluva kick to his head. Yeah, so... Uh, 
because they try to make it seem like things that should hurt more like or like sensitive spots right. are worse than they really are makes sense uh yeah obviously it's a real injury so you might as well work play it, it up yeah um so but yeah that did happen quite a few times where it looked like the end ryan landon on his head mm-hmm. and stuff like that um, but he had a moonsault last night too, or is that it actually uh, WrestleMania that he did the? I think it was a WrestleMania. Was it Mania? I don't seen I don't a moonsault last night. All right, maybe it was Mania. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the two of them are kind of at a stalemate. I believe um, AJ went for the phenomenal forearm, but mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan countered it, so they were both down. Um, and then Shinsuke so they... comes out of the crowd, mm-hmm. hits uh, Daniel Bryan in the back of the head with the knee. So, you know, he's <laughs> Damn. in trouble. Yep. Um, and then he goes over to AJ and hits him with a low blow. Yes, again. So that's his that's thing. His thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and low then blow he, Nakamura. And then he hits uh, AJ with a Kinshasa. Mm. And then another low blow. And that was it. Yeah. I mean, they gave, what, they it was like, like 10 minutes 10 or minutes. something like that? Yeah. But um, it was very quality for uh, yeah. Even with the interference, it was yeah. still fine. I mean, yeah, the we, crowd was pissed, but yeah. rightfully well, we, so. We knew that was this was happen. come on, you're going to get a little taste of it. We'll eventually give it yeah, to we, you, but we, you know, we knew full well that Shinsuke was getting involved, mm-hmm. so it's not like it was a surprise. Mm-hmm. Didn't have to throw one TV at the other TV. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh but man, yeah, yeah. So we just hit the hour mark. So uh, I think that's enough. Are you serious? Yeah. How? I, there was a lot of raw talk. Oh wow. Yeah. I could have swore we were not that far. No. Yeah. All right. So uh, this has been our WWE Week in Review. If you like your show here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.